welcome back to One Crafty Ginger. I'm Mercedes. If you enjoy quick and easy craft and DIY projects, clearance finds, thrift store flips, and some rescue dogs, then you're in the right place. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have had a very happy holiday season. I'm sorry I've been MIA. Um, as most of you know from my community tab post, I did get shingles, which was really weird. Um, it was really crazy. I was really sick. Um, I had a really horrible rash like all down my face, but it's mostly gone, which is why you're seeing me now. <laughs> but anyway, I have a really fun video for you guys. I went to this, they called it an indoor three mark, three, flea market, an indoor flea market, but essentially it was like a vintage store in downtown Ogden, Utah, and everything was a dollar. It was just everything was a dollar on sale. So I picked up some pretty cool stuff that I'm going to share with you. I'm also going to share with you a really cool box of goodies from the Dollar Tree that was sent to me by Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. If you're here for that little Dollar Tree haul video, you can speed through this portion and it'll be next. But if you're here for both, welcome and let's go ahead and get started. So they had all sorts of like all sorts of stuff there. It was kind of overwhelming the amount of stuff they had in this little store, but it was pretty cool. So I'm going to start off with some of my favorite things that I found. The, one of the first things I found was this glorious piece of lace. I mean, look at how pretty that is. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I thought I could do something. It's so pretty and it was only a dollar. And then I found this mold, Which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that either, but my crafty brain thought I could do something with it. So I thought that was super cool. And then this is one I also my favorite find. So it says Mole, yeah, Mole Brushless Shaving Cream, net weight half a pound. But look at the jar. And it comes off. So if I wanted to use just the jar, I don't know if you could see the detail like the bumped, raised bumps on there. I thought that was super cool. And I love all things vintage too, so I thought that was cool. If I wanted to like just display it in my bathroom. And then speaking of vintage jars as well, they had this really cool vintage medicine bottle. You could see like there's still like the lines on it. And I thought that was super cool. I thought I could do something with that. And then this is one of my favorite finds. There, there was a lot of stuff that I found that I really liked. But they had vintage holiday postcards. Look at how gorgeous that is. Like, I don't even think you can really tell. But it has, like, glitter and it's, it's raised. So I got that one to craft with. And then I got this one. I thought they were so pretty. And then this one was only 50 cents. It's just a vintage postcard. It says, greetings from New York. And I've been to New York a couple times, so I thought that was super fun. And this one's actually a blank on the back. So if I wanted to send it to somebody, I could. And they had these, which, look at how cute a little reindeer. He's a little wonky on the leg, but I figure I could straighten him out. But look at how cute that is, that vintage holiday decor. So I thought I could maybe put it in one of my thrift store signs that I found. Like put like a pity, a pity, a pretty paper background and then like put the little, the little deer on there. I thought they were so cute. And then this is adorable too. He's a little rough there, but I could tape him up. But it's a Care Bear. Look at him. And he's playing like a little flute. He's playing a little flute. So I thought that was super cute. It was adorable. And then they had Westcott ruler. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a vintage ruler. Which I thought was pretty cool. It is double sided. And then they had this cute little tree. And I love the texture of it. It's really cool. So that was only, like I said, all of this was only a dollar. And then they had this bucket. It's missing the piece over here. It has a piece here. But I thought I could do something crafty with this. Maybe put a tree in it or something. Speaking of trees, have you guys seen the Dollar Tree has pink trees for Valentine's Day? 
I was there today. I should have grabbed some. I forgot. I'm probably going to go back tomorrow because I thought, oh my goodness, it's a pink tree. They're so cute. So I don't know, maybe a pink tree in here with some ribbon would be cute for Valentine's Day. And check this out, guys. Look at this basket. They originally had it marked for $25, which I did not pay $25. But it's got a little... Like, like, it looks like it was burnt or something at the bottom. I'm not sure. But it's a really, like, look at how big this basket is. Like, for a dollar, I thought this was so cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it was too cute to pass up. And, because I love baskets, I have a basket problem. I got this, like, I think it's like a half, a half bushel basket in red, which I thought would be cute for Valentine's Day or for Christmas to do something with. And then again, my standard usually bigger than my head. <laughs> and then they had these, which I thought were a really good deal. These, I think, are whole bushel baskets. So, like, so to tell, like, the difference, you could see, like, the size difference there. So, they're only a dollar. So, I bought two. Because I have two trees in my front, um, outside my front door that I thought would be so cute. And these bushel baskets, um, I thought they would be really cute and very kind of country and farmhouse. And like, they're super big on the inside. So yeah, it's like, look at how huge those are. So I was pretty stoked with what I found for just a buck. I mean, that's... That's a better deal than a Dollar Tree. And as my dad would say, you can't beat that with a stick. And so I, they did have in the back, they had a two for five jewelry section. And I did pick up a couple pieces there because they were gorgeous. So they had, I'll try to show you. So they had these pendants with the stone. Two for five dollars, so two fifty. And then they had this one. And then this one was really pretty. So these are actually going to be gifted. I'm going to try to get some chains. Although the blue one I might keep because I, I love blue. Like blue is my favorite color. And then they had they're just, they were just gorgeous, and I just I could not believe that they were two for five. And you could tell on the back that they're an actual, they're real stones. They're not, you know, they're not super cheap. And this one I thought was really gorgeous too. And you could tell on the back, like, look at that. Like, look at the veins and the coloring on that. Just gorgeous. And then this one is a ring. I'll try to take it off so you can maybe see it better. But it's so pretty, just all like the the colors in it, and as you can tell from the oh, so this one you can kind of tell there's a little hole, but it is a, it's, it is a actual piece of stone. So like super cool. So I spent I bought I got one, two, three, four, five pendants in a ring, so for fifteen bucks, which I think is a steal of a deal because like I said they're gorgeous and you know they have the round and then the oval and they're just oh they're so pretty so I'm super excited to get some chains to put those on and gift them to people because I think they're going to be really pretty and I think that they'll like them and then I will be back with you in just a moment with my Dollar Tree gifted haul from Marina just a second I'm back so I got this box full of goodies from Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. She sent me friend mail, or as I like to call it, a gifted Dollar Tree haul. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what we got. So, ooh, Sphinx All-in-One Portable Razor. And the cool thing about this is it says, I think, that you could take it on the airplane. Yep. Carry on friendly TSA approved. So that's cool if I ever need a travel razor. And to go with that, check it out. Refill pack. 
of the razor blades. Very cool. Some Yes to Coconut Hydrating Facial Wipes. Look at how big that pack is. How many are in there? 30 wipes. That's pretty cool. And then the pears. Oh, there's two pear soaps in here. The green and the blue. Which I heard these are actually really good for like scrubbing and feeling like super clean when you're done. So I'm anxious to try these out and see if I feel like super clean when I'm done. Oh my goodness, I was so hoping to get these. It's the Cushy Foot Flats to Go. Like... This stuff never came to the Dollar Tree here in Northern Utah. Like, do you guys have that problem? Like, you see people haul cool stuff and you never get that? Like, that's my problem here. And here's another one. Yes to fragrance-free daily hand cream with hyaluronic acid to hydrate dry skin by Yes to. An avocado. Thanks. Has anybody seen that video? Of the little boy, they give him a Christmas gift, and they wrap it up, and he opens it up, and it's an avocado, and he goes, an avocado, thanks, and then he puts it down. It's just, it's cute. I say it all the time. And then, ooh, look at this, a cute laundry sign with the hooks. So I can either leave it as it is, but I think I might do something crafty with this bit here and have the hooks, which I think will be pretty cool. Again, never saw this at my Dollar Tree. Oh, I was looking forward for these. The Hairology. Look at these clips, guys. Aren't those gorgeous? They're so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Now, if I can find another set, I could do, like, one on each side. But it's okay if they don't match, right? They're close enough. I could wear one on each side, I think. Oh, my goodness, guys, look. The Nude BYS On The Go Palette. Look at that eyeshadow palette. Look at how pretty that is. Again, never found it here. So thank you, Marina. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a picture hanging kit with all the stuff in it, with the hardware case. Oh, how cool is that, guys? OMG. That is so flipping cool. I'm so excited. That is... That's amazing that you found that at the Dollar Tree. That is so, wow, that's, that's impressive. That's, that's pretty sweet. And then family, a little bit of crazy, a little bit of loud, and a whole lot of love with the hooks. Which, oh, one of the hooks popped off, but I can get that back on there. And then self-service laundry with the beads. I love all the beads. Are you guys into like the whole beaded signs and beads and bead garland? Let me know. Comment down below. Are you guys into the beads like I am? I love freaking beads. And then, ooh, look at these. Look at these. What's in here? Is this the same thing? Oh my goodness, guys. It's, it's the gems. So we got the green, the pink, and the diamond. Look at how pretty those are. Wow, those are gorgeous. Just in the jars. Look at, I just, wow, those are really pretty. And then the Titania Soft Touch Nail Clippers. Those look pretty heavy duty. I'm excited to try those out. And then, oh, the foil flakes. Oh, how cool. So there's, can't tell if you can tell, there's silver, gold, and copper. The foil flakes. I've never foiled anything, so that'll be fun to try out with my crafting. Oh, oh and then here's a blue diamonds. Makes me think of that new Taylor Swift song off of her new album, Bejeweled. I'm about when I walk into the when I walk in the room, I make the whole place shimmer. It's catchy. 
you haven't if you haven't seen it, you should you should check it out. It's a it's a catchy song. <laughs> um, oh, I've been wanting these to craft with. They're the wall art, the metal flowers. And I think, I think there's one more in here. Yep. The white one. I have, I have plans for these. So keep an eye out. If you're a Mackenzie Childs fan, I'm going to do a Mackenzie Child inspired, uh, I think another DIY video using some Mackenzie Child uh, wrapping paper that I got on sale last year. But I wanted these because You'll see in, the, in that video what I'm going to do with these. They're pretty cool. And then, last but not least, look at these. It's the floor mats for the puppers. So we got this one, and we got this one. So we got the like the tartan plaid and like the Christmas sweater. Because we all know Mercedes has got the dogs. These will be so cute to put under their water bowl and I know it's after Christmas but that's okay because I leave my decorations up until like New Year's do you guys leave your decorations up through New Year's do you take them down are they already down comment down below and let me know like how long you leave your decorations up whether it be for Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa whatever you decorate for do you leave them up for a while or do you like take them down right when the holiday is over but wow like that is this is so cool. Thank you so much, Marina, for thinking of me. I really appreciate you. You are such a good soul and a generous person, and you just, you just, you try to help everybody that you can, and I appreciate you, and you're marvelous. So thank you Mwah! so much. I love everything. I think it's great. I'm super excited. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for coming back and sticking with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It's completely free. It helps me out. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. When I get to 600 subscribers, which I think I'm only like 42 away from, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So you might want to get in on that because I found some goodies that I think you guys might like. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was from either my little gifted Dollar Tree haul or my $1 uh, thrift store um, finds that I found. And until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.